Right, good day everyone. Uh, welcome to another session. Today we're going to pump out some power strokes. Haven't done them in a while, so I thought, righto, let's throw some in there. Okay, and plus, I know that you're rowing better because we've been doing all our sessions, that we can start putting a little bit of load and using the machine as it's designed to do, okay, to go through some of the functionality of the drag factor, okay, um, to really work on on loading under our stroke that we're trying to commit to, okay? So the best part, if you're trying to get a little bit more strength in terms of your rowing, there's a lot of exercises in the gym that you can do, mainly things like squats, seated row, uh, bent over row, deadlifts. There's a whole range of motions that help with the strength to increase power on the row machine, okay? But when we increase the resistance on the machine and we're trying to do it in the technique and in the shape and form that we're trying to hold, then we start getting a little bit more direct comparison in terms of loading from the rowing stroke, okay, to the resistance that we put on it, okay? So today, the power strokes, we're going to just increase our drag factor um, over, we'll do it over three um, sets, okay? And on each of those sets, we'll just raise the drag slightly, which I'll get into in a minute, okay? And that will create that load that we're looking for. Now, when we're in that load, we're still, we're not getting highly up in rating, but we've still got to keep it moving, okay? The reason being that once you increase the drag, what happens is all the air disappears. So your flywheel decreases in speed very, very fast, okay? Which, which is great for this type of workout. Not so great we're doing long endurance stuff, okay? Yes, it can build some strength, but there's also the flip side of it where if you really wear yourself down, we start losing our form. And we've got to make sure that form is one of the top, top priorities in terms of training on the rowing machine. Okay, so what are we going to do today? As you can see, we're doing seven four-minute pieces. We've got plenty of break in between. We'll do a warm-up, okay? We'll just do that three or four minutes just to get rolling. Then we're going to kick into it, okay? So here's how we work. It's only four minutes, not a lot of time. So in the first one, we're just going to go 20, 22 at normal drag. Easy, okay? Have our break. Probably didn't. If we were going to set it up, we could have done a variable, but not going to waste our time on that. Okay, so second one. What we'll do is we're going to raise it by 30 drag points. Now, it's about 16. <laughs> I don't know. I've done my own experiment, but it's it's about, my number's 15, 16. Somewhere around there is basically two numbers. Okay, so the lines between where your numbers are on, on the drag, on the setting, on the flywheel, that's 15, okay? So let's work on that, that each time that we go up is 15. So, for example, if your drag factor is currently sitting on four, then on the second set, we go up to six, okay? So we've done the first set at four, we do the next set at six, okay? And then when we go to the third set, where we go four minutes at 22, we're going to go up another setting. So then we go up to seven, and then on this fourth one, we go up to eight, and then we're basically going to stay there for those last three sets, for the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth. We won't go any higher, okay? Now, I think that's a really, really good place, but I'm going to leave it up to you as well. So if with all the changes, you go up and you don't like that extra drag on, say, the fourth set, you know, the 22, 24, bring it back down one, okay? So you've gone up three numbers, so started at four, you're up at seven, and you should feel the load, okay? Don't overload yourself um, because, yes, bad technique can come in, but also fatigue, muscle fatigue. Okay, so we don't, there's two, two things. We, we do want to try and push ourselves a little bit, but we also don't want to over fatigue that we lose form, we get tight, we can hurt ourselves, etc. okay? That's why we're not really going up. We're doing a little bit of higher rate towards the end but not a lot that I think is really going to test us. Okay, we, you can do some high rate stuff, 
under stress, but I think we start off, you've got you to start learning. If you haven't done power strokes or if you, you're not used to them, um, it's really important to just make sure that we do the right things first. Then we can start, I guess, evaluating, extrapolating, going even further, experimenting, um, and, and starting to use it as part of a regime training program which is actually going to get some really, really good benefits. Okay, so because we haven't done one of these for a while, here we are again, I'm going to go through it. So focus, same as what we normally do, but the flywheel is going to be decreasing in speed quite heavily. So what does that mean? It means we still want to have this focus of coming into the front and this change in direction. But as we come out of that, that front, we've got to remember, don't try and power it from that catch, okay? We still want to have that connection, that smooth change, and then we're going to really sit back through the middle, which really means that we've just got to have a little bit more focus on our stability, on our core, on the way that the legs and the body are driving together, okay? We don't want, and, and also, this we've, it's going to take a little bit more out of us on our arm hand, okay? Because we're going to feel that weight. So we're going to be tempted to try and, and, and clutch it a little bit. Stay away from that. Really keep that focus on that long hang, long arms underneath these armpits, okay? And, and we will talk about that as we're going along, okay? But the, the sets are quite short, okay, four minutes. I don't think it's, it's, it's a lot. And we should really be able to roll through it together um, and experiment, okay? And we'll talk about it along the way. I'll evaluate it, especially around that sort of fourth, fifth set. If I'm, if I'm like, yeah, it's pretty hard. I can always just remind you guys if it's too much, take it back, okay? But it's just going to be slightly different, and it will wear us down, okay? But the last set as well, if you saw on the on the bottom, um, we'll just take it right back to where we start, okay? Um, and we'll just do two mi uh, minute at each, 22, 24, 26, 28. And I'll tell you what, you're going to love it, okay? You're going to love it. Because once that drag goes back to normal, you'll just have so much. Um, it's, a, it's a crazy feeling because the acceleration's there. The ease of speed, you're like, oh, this is Christmas. Okay? And it's really, really short and sharp, and it's nice. Okay? So that's enough chit-chat. Let's get into it. Warm up. Okay? Get our warm up going as normal. Um, and then we will start into our pieces from there. Okay? Right. Let us rock and roll. You know, trust the old rower on the Apple Watch. Okay. Okay, so same as always, just really starting to build our motion. To get nice and set and ready. Really just building the stroke and the momentum through this first part. Okay, I don't think we need to warm up by lifting the drag factor. I think we'll really take care of that in that second set. So this here it's just the standard operating procedure. Lengthening out the stroke, getting more comfortable in position. Taking our time to feel the movements. To feel the hang. Feel the sequence, okay, and just develop this nice, easy shape of stroke that we're trying to get to. Okay, feel that acceleration as we sit back through the stroke, okay, not hitting the front, patiently around, connect. And then sit back, push and swing. Nice. Okay, 
And just start to squeeze it on a little bit now. It should be starting to loosen up. Starting to feel like we're in a position for more flexibility. Every stroke, just feeling that little bit more stretch. So now the, the setup becomes a little bit more comfortable. The hang feels a little bit easier. The hip flexion feels a bit better as we get onto that recovery. Nice. Okay. So just press it on a little bit more. This is good. Okay, good motion. Ease of speed. One smooth drive. <clears throat> okay, we'll do another five strokes. Roll into the front. One more. Easy. Okay. <sighs> Done. Okay, that's just the basic warm up. Gets us into a position ready to go. Okay, we'll start it up now. We've got that first set, which is basically a bit of a warm up for the whole piece. Okay, but we'll have a bit more intent in terms of trying to find a bit more speed. <clears throat> okay, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so let's rock and roll. Right, what are we on? Just got to get out of the light. Five. Oh, it's good. <clears throat> okay, so, as I said before, change your drag to what you're comfortable with in your starting position, which is what you normally train on. Okay, and then we're going to go up from there. Now, you might say to me, it makes it up on a seven. Okay, that's fine. Adjust it. One thing I will say, if you are rowing that high, maybe check the actual number on your drag factor. Um because it could mean that your machine's a little bit full of dust, something like that might need to be cleaned, because seven is relatively heavy. But, could be just the way that you do it, okay? But, we just want, to, we want a consistent increase through these first ones to really nail this, nut out this workout, okay? So, find your normal, wherever you are, and just remember that one full space is 15, okay? So when we go up 30, have a look at it now, see where you need to go to, Okay, and then we're going to go to the next one, and the next one after that. Okay, right, here we go. Select workout. Select workout, new workout. Intervals, intervals time. Let's raise that to four minutes. Okay, one minute rest period. Boom, ready to go. Have a quick drink. I'm just going to leave it flashing on the one. Quick big drink for me. Okay, let's press the checkbox. Don't need to muck around today. Okay, and let's get ready to go. Okay, so here we go. Uh, two minutes, two minute changes, 20, 22, normal drag. Here we go. <clears throat> Are you ready? <sighs> Attention. Go. Okay, so just get into the rhythm first. Nice and smooth. Find this motion. Okay, really work on this change in direction around the catch. The nice long hang in the arms. Nice, continuous motion. Okay, never stopping around the finish. Hands brush the body in a way. And then one smooth recovery. Okay. 
Okay, it's going to be one thing as we get under pressure. Still got to continue this speed and this recovery. But it's just that loading around the front which is going to be the noticeable difference. So, really work on now this hang that we're getting from the front because we're really just going to notice it in that first part of the drive and through the middle once once we increase that drag just because it's going to be a heavier slower flywheel to then have to gain back speed on it when we're normally here we're just tapping it along with using what we've created okay up to now just moving a bit quicker okay because normally we create speed here and then we try and maintain and protect what we've created but once we increase that drag there is a noticeable decrease which then we have to commit energy and power to to maintain and keep our splits keep our speed okay that's why we'll do it with a little bit of rating just to help the movement along okay if we have it too low we can find that the flywheel just drops down a little bit too much we'll start off there but the bulk of the session is around this 22 that we're at now okay long arms push away from the hands as we find that smooth change with the compression for there around the catch picking the gear sitting back good nice okay this is good motion Good pressure. Nicely warming in. Ready to put up the load. Okay. Easy. Okay. So just like that, we're good. We'll roll it out for about 20, 30 seconds here and we'll change our drag. Bump it up and then prepare for this next set, okay? So, knowing where you're on currently in terms of your drag, we're going to go up two, okay? So, there we go. Let's do a little bit more. Okay, and you'll notice quite a bit of difference in terms of that flywheel pick up at the catch, okay? All it is is, is air escaping the flywheel, making it decelerate quicker. Here we go, 20, now. Okay, so just take a moment to feel the new tension that's out the front, okay? And without grabbing it, keep the arms long, engage the core, and just feel the push. Okay, quite a different feeling. Don't try and overwork it. I'm not trying to set any records. But we're just trying to make the body feel the difference and have to work to that difference. Okay, good. 
Smooth around the finish. Don't sit around the back. Okay, but we've really got to focus this front turn without coming in thinking we've got to muscle it, okay? Still think of that hang and swing. Okay, in the front, long arms, legs and body. Press it back. Squeeze those lemons. Okay, good. Good motion. Good long arms. Okay, so we're going to free it up. A little bit more acceleration. Now. Okay, so we come forward a little bit quicker. Acceleration of the drive. Okay. Now, staying up on top of it. Not getting tight in the shoulders. Picking the speed. Around the front. Okay, just naturally with that compression in the setup. Engage through the body, core, hang, lower back, and the pressure on the legs, okay? Feel the push while we hang with those arms. Good. Nice motion. Good, continuous movement. Okay, good. Good press. Sit back. Nice motion. Nice smooth movements. Remember, relax on this recovery. Try and release the tension. Nice. Okay, so notice the difference there in terms of that loading. Okay, so we're going to go up again. Okay, this time. And this time it's just going to be a good four minutes at 22 okay so up another number <clears throat> so keep focused and just keep thinking about what we're doing in terms of the hang and the body position through okay yes the deceleration of that flywheel is super fast now because the flywheel is nearly fully open that's why it's heavy okay that's why it starts dropping right out. So it's up to us and our ability to try and maintain our speed. Here we go. Now. Okay, so keep it free here. We want to go straight on to 22. Here it is. Good. Okay. Feel it heavy there. But remember, one smooth drive. Make it one motion. Don't try and grab and then give it more, okay? One pressure. Sit back. Feel the push. Okay, arms out of the socket. Feel that connection being held under here. Okay, not here. Like that. 
Try and leave it out there. Handles moving around the back. Good. Hold this. Nice push. <clears throat> really smooth. <clears throat> Allow that seat to roll up underneath. Be in a nice, strong, comfortable position. There. Right at the catch. This is good. Okay, hold the movements as continuous as possible. Without too much tension. Okay, leave the muscle tension there in our form. Remove outright tension. I'm trying to hold on. Okay, remember these arms. Amazing ability from our ancestors. Evolution. Feel that hang. Good. Long arms. Push back. Is the handle out long? The feet drive those legs and body against the footboard. Feel it. Press. Nice. Okay, keep this motion. Keep this rhythm. Really good. Nice effort. One push. Okay, we're doing one motion from the front. Listen to the flywheel. Sounds different than normal. One whiz. Okay, last few strokes. All the way. Nice. Okay, really good. So, if you think that's enough load, leave it there, okay? Otherwise, if you game, we're gonna go up one more number, okay? And that'll be that'll be us for the next few sets, okay? Boom. We're up on nine. This thunder. Okay, good. So, this is two minutes at 22, two minutes at 24. So, same focus, keep it moving. It's just going to feel that load from the drive. Here we go. Moving in. Now, Good movement. This handle might feel a little bit quicker around here because the handle coming in is a bit slower. Feel that connection. Use this resistance to feel the whole body pushing back. Okay, no lift, try and keep it nice and flat, keep the chain flat, really horizontal in that drive. Try and eliminate too much upwards, really flat. Nice strong posture. Good. Ok, 
Okay, feel this load as we come into the catch. Take a moment on the press away to engage the body. The drive. <clears throat> Nice. Feel that press. Okay, keep that focus on that hand. Even just check. Or look at your arms. Your shoulders. Try, try, try. Up two. Now. So, I'm going to feel that acceleration. Feel this motion. Good. Okay, feel that push. Try and find the speed of the drive with the resistance. Okay, this is helping with resistance speed, drive speed, and the acceleration. When we take it off on that last set, it's going to feel amazing. Okay, good. Working on the front, roll in, hang away. Nice. Really good. Hands around the finish. Nice. Good rhythm, sustainability, continuous motion. Hold the core. Relax the face. Half at hand. Yeah. Good. Hey, last 10 seconds. Okay, nice. Okay, so. How does that feel? Can you manage two more sets at that resistance? Can you try one? Okay, yes, it's pretty heavy. Okay, yes, it's pretty slow out of the catch. But we hold form, we find a way to do it. Okay, we're starting to work pretty hard. And that's what we're after, okay? Resistance, trying to hold the form. Okay, so this set, Two minutes at 22, one minute at 24. We're just going to raise it a little bit again to go to 26, okay? When we go up to 26, we're really going to have to focus on the output, but still holding our form, okay? We're going to have to push it. Moving in now for two minutes at 22. Okay, get into our motion. There's our rate. Okay, now let's sit into it. Or feel the push. Okay, the out, the drive does feel quite slow, okay? And that's just because of the resistance. The flywheel just can't get that acceleration that that wind inside that flywheel helps with. Okay? It's getting exhausted too quickly. So, use our own body weight. And we press and then we sit back. We hold what we can create through there, 
okay? Nice with the heads, keep them up, sit tall. Good motion. Breathe into it. Good. Nice rhythm. Okay, getting prepared. Moving up to 24. This one. Now. A little bit more commitment. A little bit more speed on the recovery. Okay? Get out of the back, roll forward. Use the feet. Okay? Give it a little bit of hold to bring forward. Transfer. And then compress. Good. Nice. Hold our rhythm here. Find this. Continuous motion. Good. Good rhythm. Hold. Maintain. Prepare to go up to 26. We've got to push it. Here we go. Now, commit on the legs. Feel the push. Got to get it moving. Okay, hold the hand. Quick finish. Round the turn. Nice. Yeah. Feel that push. Hang under the front. Sit back. One pressure. Symmetrical. Squeeze the lemons. Both feet. All the way. Okay, great. Okay, great. Nice and solid. Okay. Nice. Now, if you've kept the drag up, awesome. Can you do it one more time? Okay, here's the question. Thanks, sorry. Um, so, last piece. One at 22, one at 24, then we're going to do two at that 26. Okay, that's the test. Okay, should be starting to feel quite tired. Okay, muscle fatigue, soreness, because it's taking a lot out of us to maintain this pressure with the drag as it is. Okay, here we go. 22. Now. And now 22 probably feels a lot easier than it was previously. Okay, hang. Go for form. Go for motion. Go for pressure. Okay. Application of pressure, not power that you've seen on the screen. Make it smooth. Tie it in with your technique, with the hang, the core. Trying to be smooth around the front turn, not hitting it. Smooth around. This is good. Okay, up two. Now. Okay. 
I feel that press. Feel the hang all the way to the body. Okay? Nice resistance on the arms. Still just allowing it to come to us. Not pulling it in, okay? Pressure towards us. Okay, breathe. Let's get our form ready for two minutes of 26. Here we go. On the legs. Now. Press. Recover. Good. Okay, hold that natural compression. Good. Feel the rhythm. Breathe with me. Okay, now smooth around the front. Here we go. Roll in. Hang away. Roll in. Hang away. Really nice. Good motion. Really good. Okay, last minute. Hold. This is it. Last part under pressure. Out the front with me. Push away from the handle. Use the body. Good. Seat underneath. Try and stay loose on recovery. Open the mouth. Relax the face. Good. Last few strokes. All the way. Beautiful. Okay. Really nice. Nice and solid. Okay. Great work. Really solid work. Okay. But we're not finished. Okay. The last piece now. We're going to take our drag back to where we had it at the start. Okay. We're just going to move through a minute at each rate. Okay. Start off. Find the rhythm at that 22. It's going to feel very, very quick. Okay. So we've got to be sharp with our movement around the catch. The legs now go back to an acceleration mode rather than a power mode. Here we go. Now. Christmas. See how fast that is? Okay. So, hang off the front. Legs now. Speed over power. Move with that speed. Keep the arms long. Don't grab them. Let that handle come back to us. Okay, natural compression. Take an element of time around the front, okay? Because the flywheel is moving quicker. We can concentrate more on everything through the drive. Okay, up to this one. Now, 24. Okay, here we are. Feel the smoothness now. 
continuous motion with the hands. Momentum and rhythm. Good. Okay, breathe. Really focus this hang. Changing that feet pressure against the toes, balls of the feet. Bungee do the work, drag us forward. Round the turn. Round the finish. Brush the body. Okay, up two. 26. This one. Now. Hand speed. Hand rhythm. Okay. Feel that motion. Lock in this hang. Front. Long arms. Here we go. Good. Sit back through the stroke. Leave the arms out long. Good. Leg speed. Feel the difference. Right. Last change up. Acceleration. 28. This time. Now. Hands. Around the turn. Right. Now we're on speed. What do we do? Tap it along. Maintain. Find this easy rhythm. Sustainable. Open the mouth. Good. Ten strokes to go. Hang. Both feet press. Rhythm with the swing. Top effort team. Okay, great work. Nice. Okay, no one's stopping. We'll let the time run out. We'll reset. We'll do it again. Just kidding. <laughs> if you want to, go for gold. Okay, no, great set. Stunning. Good time. Okay, great workout. Sweaty, puffing, tired muscles. We've done a really, really good thing. Okay, so we'll make sure that we come off the end of this well. So we get a good chance of recovery. Just help the body out, okay? Nice. Okay, so open the mouth. Sit tall. Let's reset our screens. Press the menu button a couple of times. Okay. And then we'll just start bringing a little, a little bit of activeness back into it, okay? As always, active recovery. Anyone that's not sure about active recovery, we're not just doing this. Okay, this is, yeah, I've just finished the set. It was hard, pretty buggered. Okay, active recovery. We start stimulating a little bit of resistance on the muscles. Stimulates blood flow, which should have good oxygen in it. <clears throat> Pushes the blood around the body. Stimulates to the areas that need repair and recovery, okay? This part about recovery and this act of recovery is that we can start thinking about the stroke without the pressure of looking at numbers, you know, and we can just start feeling and looking at what we're doing, okay? The recovery, the hang, 
look down, look at our shoulders. Are we doing this? Okay, am I coming in and doing this? Or am I coming in and trying to feel that hang and that push away? Okay, we can have a feel. Okay, we can feel the little bit of slip that happens at the catch. Okay, that does happen. Okay, nobody's ever good enough to be like straight onto it. Okay, there's that moment of take up, but we're holding form and then allowing our body and our legs to push back, okay? And just enough pressure to allow that to happen. Okay, we don't even need to focus on numbers. We're focused on feel. Enough feel, enough pressure that we have to hold form, okay? This is the activeness of our recovery. And it also allows us the moment without pressure, without expectation, to try and feel this flow, okay? Trying to feel the machine, okay? Feeling what happens when we let the hands go away a little bit quicker, the tension of the machine drawing us in. The relationship, the handle and the seat here, rolling together. Roll together. Okay? Feeling that pack up as we come in, and then we just press away, okay? And we're not thinking about acceleration, we're just thinking about movement. Okay, hang, sit back. Sit back, okay? Feet, press, feel the pressure against both feet, all the way through the drive. As everything opens out. Okay, a couple more. Really good. Warm down effort right there. <clears throat> okay, great. Top effort, team. Top effort, okay. Hard one, yep. Just gonna have to get the old clean air out now. Wipe up the sweat off the floor. Um, Great, great session, okay? Another one on the, in the library. Okay, power strokes are a, a really nice thing to do done properly, okay? Yes, it can be done in many ways, but there's, there's two ways with a low, lowish rate um, uh, power stroke workout, okay? One, really helping build muscle in the form that we're trying to build the muscle, okay? We're not here doing bicep curls, it's not us. Okay, we do that in the gym. But we're putting ourselves under pressure with, the, with that resistance on our form, okay? And it's sometimes very, very useful. It's very handy if this is one of the sole pieces of kit that you use for your fitness, health and fitness, okay? It is good to mix it up and do things like this, okay? The other side of it as well, yes, we can go down and we can do power stuff, okay, speed work, um, which is another way and a really another good session to be able to do as well, which I might chuck in there at some later stage, okay, but um, if you're ever going to revisit or you're ever going to do any of your own um, power stroke stuff, the great thing is we can build up, okay, now if you thought that going up 30 in, in the first go was too much, do it differently next time. Go 15, 15, 15, finish at that, okay? Whatever. But it's just about the resistance because that extra resistance, as you would have felt, you know, somewhere up in here in that 24, 26, there's no acceleration with the body, right? It's really just like, you know, yeah, you can feel the power that's coming through, but it's not like when we've got it off at that 26, 28, where it's like, you know, we really get that acceleration of the body because we've just got resistance against us the whole time, okay? And that's why it's great for technique as well, that's what I was saying before, you know, that you have to hold that form. You have to try and stay in that, in that form, in that hang position, in the position to allow everything to open out, okay? Because if we push the legs too early, it's really slow on the back, okay? We lift the back, it really feels like we, can, we have to yank it in at the finish. Okay, we get that, we start to get that right, and you really do feel it's just a sit back, okay? And it is, it's a one, 
rather than a woof, you know, that we get when we've got that less resistance, okay? But hopefully it worked out really well for you. Hopefully you learned something from it because remember, every time you jump on the road machine, we should be thinking about what we're doing, trying to adjust to make things better, um, make a better job of ourselves, okay? Be better today than we were yesterday and just really work on the little bits and pieces that are gonna help you get faster. Okay, and so hopefully today would have been a really good way of, of seeing that, seeing what actually happened when you're under stress. Did my form go to custard? Okay, did I hold it very well? I start doing a T-Rex, a catch, okay? Whatever it might be, just think about it and use it for next time, okay? Use it for where you're gonna go in the next session, okay? But really, really solid session. Okay, burnt a bit of energy on that, so please make sure you recover well after this. Okay, and then slide back into the other training whenever that may be. Okay, but great effort, great effort. Um, learn from it, hopefully it worked out really well for you. Um, great session, it'll always be here so you can revisit it at some other stage. Um, but thanks a lot for tuning in, and um, we will see you guys back here next session in a week or so's time. Okay. Right, enjoy, stay safe. Thank you for me and the Ascensei team, and we will catch you later. Peace out, team. Zaffy, so good. See you later, guys.